Hello, students. Okay, here we are. This is Code Academy. Um, the web address here is www.codeacademy.com. Don't go to codeacademy.org. Apparently, there's some kind of pretender organization that wants to charge you money for uh, using their tutorials. Make sure you're at codeacademy.com where everything is free. Um, so if you don't have an account on Code Academy, you're going to need to go through the create account process. And it's pretty simple. You give them an email, you come up with a username, a password, confirm your password and get started. Um, you could also sign up with your Facebook account or your Google account or your Twitter account. Completely up to you. I already have an account, so I'm going to just sign in. And I'm going to sign in with my... Um, Scrunch the cat ID, which is uh, my kind of my junk ID. You all should have one if you don't, just an ID that you use to log into things where you're probably not going to want to hear from them again. Um, and my password. Oops. Uh, oh, lovely. Okay, here we go. So here I am. Um, probably when you log in or when you first um, come to the Code Academy website after you've created an account, you're going to see uh, a page that looks like this. Now there are many wonderful different um, things that you can learn on Code Academy, but we're going to learn three basic, we're going to be involved in three basic modules. Uh, the first one is Web Fundamentals, which is a tutorial site for HTML and CSS. The next is JavaScript, where we're going to learn the basics of JavaScript. And the third is jQuery, which is the language. It's a, these are pre-created JavaScript um, codes that will let you do some interesting things on websites. And we'll talk about that later in the semester. What I would like you to do for Tuesday, January 14th, is to complete the first two sections of Web Fundamentals. So I'm going to click on here, and you can see I've already started this. But the first two are under Intro to HTML, and it's HTML bat Basics and Build Your Own Web Page. So I'm going to go to HTML Basics, and I've already started this, so I'm going to go back to the beginning. And this is the way that Code Academy works. Um, when you first come into HTML Basics, you will see on the left-hand side there's going to be a series of instructions. Like first there's um, some information, and then there's some instructions. And over here, this is the area where you work. And basically, this area is where you will be typing in some codes and other things in Code Academy. And this window here is your preview. Um, so let's see what let's just get jump right in and see what it says. So we, we're going to read these three paragraphs. Why learn HTML? Every web page you look at is written in a language called HTML. You can think of HTML as the skeleton that gives every web page structure. Okay. I will let you read this on your own. But basically, you read these three paragraphs, and then underneath there are instructions. Okay, so let's read the instructions together. It says, to the right, we have a test.html file. So here's a file, it's called test.html. Number two, change the text on line two, the bit between the strong and close strong tags, to anything you like. Okay, so here's line two, here's strong and close strong. These red uh, words here, because they're in those carrots, those symbols that look like this, we call them carrots, open and close carrots. Um, those are HTML tags. HTML tags, um, you can identify them because they're inside those funny looking brackets. And strong makes things look bold. So we can see here it already says welcome to Dig Digital Publishing Workshop. We can see it here uh, in preview, the way it would look on the web, it says welcome to Digital Publishing Workshop. So I'm just going to go in here and change this. And you can see I can jump right in and edit. And I'm going to say, um, welcome to our class. OK. And notice how I, when I change that, the preview over here changes. OK. So, so we change the text on line 2. 
Uh, and then we're going to hit save and submit code and you will see what it looks like in a browser. So I'm going to do save and submit code and it tells me I got everything right. We can actually see the preview right here. There's, that's what it looks like in the browser. I hit the escape key to get out of that. Okay, so once I have successfully completed this, I can go on to the next section. Now, if for some reason I, I have a problem, under, and I, I don't quite understand, or I, I get a bunch of errors, I can go here uh, to get a hint about how to make this work. Um, I can even go to a Q&A forum where it will give me some additional help. We'll see how that works in the next section. Let's go on to the next section, the next lesson. Okay, so the next lesson is called HTML and CSS. And here it says HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Uh, hypertext means text with links in it. Yeah, well, kind of, sort of. Okay, so it talks about markup languages and CSS. You can read that for yourself. And then here we have A, B, and C. This is usually important. The first thing we should do is to set up the skeleton of the page. Always put doctype HTML on the first line. This tells the browser what language it's reading, in this case, HTML. Always put HTML on the next line. Oh, shoot, let me get rid of this. Sorry, I was in here earlier doing this. Always put HTML on the next line. This starts the HTML document. Always put close HTML on the last line. This ends the HTML document. Okay, so this basically tells us how to set up a page. Every web page at the top has a doc type declaration. In this case, doc type HTML. And what that does is it tells the web browser, it tells Safari or Internet Explorer or Chrome that it's looking at an HTML document. Now here's the thing, doc type HTML is the doc type for HTML5, which is the most recent version of HTML, which is the one that we want to use. So all of our HTML documents should begin with doc type HTML. Now you may see out on the web some documents that begin with other things, like doc type um, XHTML, transitional, English, web, blah, blah, blah. There's a long string. If you see that, that's probably HTML4. You don't want that, but there's still some pages that are written in that. But fortunately for us, it has been the doc type has been greatly simplified now to doc type HTML. Okay. All right, so let's read the instructions. First, go ahead and put the three lines mentioned above into test.html, which is now blank. So here's test.html, and it is blank. So first it says, um, what are the three lines? Well, here we go. This is back in the instructions. Always put doc type HTML on the first line. So that's what we're going to do right here on the first line. We're going to do an open caret, and then an exclamation point, and then all caps the word doc type, and then a space, and then lowercase HTML. Okay? And that's our doc type declaration. Now here's the thing about HTML and CSS. It's not terrifically difficult, but it is very demanding. So in, in order to make this work correctly, all of your HTML codes and CSS commands, they must be spelled and capitalized exactly the way that HTML and CSS expects them to be. So here I have doc type in all caps and HTML in all lowercase. If I did not put doc type in all caps, I might run into a problem. So again, that's the trickiest part of learning HTML and CSS3 is it's very demanding. It's very unforgiving. You really have to type things exactly the way they expect them. Okay, so what's the next thing? So I'm going to go back to my instructions. Always put HTML on the next line. This starts the HTML document. Okay, so I'm going to put my HTML tag. Okay, and then it says always put close HTML on the last line. Anytime you see one of those HTML tags where a slash is the first uh, character, that's the close tag. So on line two, we have opened HTML, and now on line three, we're going to close HTML. Okay, so I did this. Oh, oh, and then it says in between the second and last line between the HTML and the close HTML, Please feel free to write whatever message you like. Okay, so I'm going to write a message. Um, did I write my HTML tags correctly? Okay, I can put anything in here. It doesn't matter. 
Okay, so I have this, my doc type declaration, my open HTML, my content, which is did I write my HTML text correctly? Close HTML, I'm gonna click Save and Submit. And it says way to go, you did, you did well. Now let me show you what would happen um, if things did not work out so well. Let's say on the HTML tag, let's say I made a typo. Instead of HTML, let's say I, let's say I typed in um, BHTML or uh, M MTL, MTML instead of HTML. So here we have doc type, MTML. Did I write my HTML tags correctly <clears throat> and close HTML? And this time when I try to save and submit code, I get an error message and says, oops, try again, make sure you put your open um, HTML tag. Okay, so it says, here it's trying to tell me what's wrong, and it says there's something with the original HTML tag. So I'm gonna go here and say HTML. Okay, so when I do this, when I fix my typo, and now I save and submit code, I'm back to um, success once again. Okay. So, um, let me show you a couple places where you can go for help. So, if you do this and you keep getting an error message and you're not sure what's wrong, for each of these little modules, there's this, this stuck uh, message right here. So it says, stuck, get a hint. So I can click on it and it will give me a hint on how to make this work. Okay, and if I read this hint and I still don't understand, um, if I go down to the Q&A forum at the bottom, so this is linked directly to this part of the um, Web Fundamentals uh, uh, tutorial. So these answers and questions are related directly to what you're working on. And I have found that even if I don't uh, can't figure out what Code Academy wants me to do by looking at the hint, I can find the answer in the Q&A forum. So it's very easy. Okay. So let me show you something about um, the way that these things are structured. This is Web Fundamentals and for Tuesday we will complete HTML basics and build your own web page. Now there's two parts but each part has multiple um, little tutorials. So in HTML basics there are 13. We can see the two that we just did, Why Learn HTML and HTML and CSS and we can see the ones that are coming up. Okay, um, and once we have finished all those, we can go on to build your own web page. There's six components there. Okay, so I want you to complete both of these uh, before class on Tuesday, January 14. Um, when we meet together in class, we will go over these. Uh, so if you have any questions or any problems, please bring them to class and we will go over them. But I think you will find it very easy and convenient to do these tutorials by yourself at home on your own time. We will be using what we are learning here to make something. So we're going to make, we're going to do a page layout, we're going to do a photo slideshow, we're going to do a multimedia package. Um, so we will put these skills to use. But these tutorials, they're very easy and they're very step-by-step -step, and there's lots of support to help you learn the basics of coding. Okay, in the next um, video I'm going to talk about the WordPress site.